Your mother knows me? Who is she? Bulma. Everybody's flabbergasted. I'm heading off to a place near here to meet Goku. Would you guys like to come? Weird, how does he know about my father? Just follow me. The magic flying thing shows up out of nowhere. Come on, guys. We're gonna go meet up with my daddy. Vegeta. Still trying to be a loner. Excuse me, mister, but how do you know my dad? Actually, I haven't met your dad before. I've just heard about him. And then how do you know that he's going to arrive at this spot? Well, that's... Uh, sorry, I can't say. Why not? I tell you, but I'll tell you. It's because you're up to something. Tell us now, tough guy, who are you? I wish I could say. Uh, sorry. When you defeated Frieza and that other guy, you were a Super Saiyan, weren't you? Yes, I was. That's a lie! Kakarot and I are the uh, Kakarot, the one you call Goku, and myself were the only Saiyans left. Kakarot's kid there is half Saiyan, so if you count him, that makes three of us. There is no way that you can have Saiyan blood! No answer. It figures. Uh, Goku should be arriving any second now. Speak of the devil! Sporting those yard rat duds. Hey, Dad! Welcome back to Earth, Goku! Hey, guys! How did you know I was gonna be here? This guy told us. I think he might be a fan of yours. He's a mystery man. He knows all about you, Daddy! Huh? But how? He knew the exact uh, time and place of your arrival. That's impossible. We've never met. He must have been tracking your spaceship, uh, your ship in outer space or something. Really? Uh, hey, where's Frieza anyway? I sensed he was on his way here, and I tried to get here as fast as I could. This guy defeated him. He turned into a Super Saiyan and picked him apart. Uh, Goku, uh, can I have a word with you? Whole lot of cutscenes. Sorry about all the secrecy, but I really need your word that you won't tell anyone else what I'm about to say. Well, I've never had a problem keeping secrets, but sure, you have my word. My name is Trunks. This is going to sound really strange, but I'm not from this time. I travel here in a time machine from 20 years in the future. Really? From the future? That's incredible! Yes, Vegeta was right. Only he, yourself, and Gohan have Saiyan blood. And I got mine from him. He's my father. What?! You're kidding! I'll be born two years from now. <laughs> no kidding! Vegeta's gonna be a daddy! I didn't come here to tell you that. I have to talk to you about something. In three years, on the morning of May 12th, at 10 a.m. in the morning, 10 a.m. in the morning, two powerful entities will show up on Abino Island. Or Amendo Island. What, what did I say? Abino? Jesus! They have dreadful power even by our standards. They're monsters, Goku. Once they show up, the Earth and everything you know will be gone for good. What's the deal? Are they aliens? No. They're both androids created right here on Earth. The creator is Dr. Shiro. The mastermind behind the Red Ribbon Army. Do you remember? Yeah, I, I defeated him! What do you mean he lived? Uh, do you mean he lived? Whatever. 
thanks to you. Look, I'm sorry to say that, Goku. I know you're a good person, but letting Dr. Zoro escape was a mistake that will come back to haunt you. He's probably working on those androids as we speak. I'm still not sure where his lab is. If I knew, I'd pay him a visit instead of you. You defeated Frieza in a flash. And yet, from what you're saying, these androids are even stronger than you. They are. Hunting me down is one of their favorite hobbies, but it's two against one, so there's not much else I could do besides run. What? Uh, what about the others? Aren't they helping you out? Three years from now, the Earth's special forces will all be wiped out. I'm all that's left. Piccolo's gone, and without him, the Dragon Balls are gone. So there's no chance of reviving anyone using a wish from the Dragon Balls. Wait a second, Trunks. What happened to me? Did they defeat me as well? No. Not too long from now, you're going to catch a new, uh, new virus that attacks the heart. You won't survive it. What?! Oh, what a bummer! Being killed by a stupid virus! I want to fight these androids! I don't even get the t a chance to take a crack at them! You're a courageous man, Goku. I'm glad I came here. Here you go. Take this, it's for your health. There's no cure now for the virus, but in my time there is. Take this when you get sick, and you'll be fine. You're kidding me! Wow, awesome! Hey, it's purple too! I bet it's grape flavored! I shouldn't be doing this because it changes history. But some history should be changed. And I'm glad because my mother told me I could trust you. Your mother knows me? Who is she? Bulma. Bulma is your mother?! Quiet down or they'll hear you. Oh, uh, sorry. Vegeta and Bulma are your parents. Wow! I don't remember my dad, so it was really great to meet him. Hey, he's a cranky guy, but he's impressive. Whatever you do, don't mention this to them. Otherwise, I may never be born. And so, Goku goes... <laughs> there, there's the narration. Goku tells his friends about the warning from the future. And so we have to train. Uh, and so we have three years to train. Whoa, dude. That's hard to wrap your mind around. Say, Kakarot, why don't you ex uh, explain how you escaped from Namek? Or where you got that ridiculous outfit, for that matter? I'll have to save that story for another day. I bet Chi Chi has been frantic waiting for me. Yeah, Dad. Let's get. Oh, uh, let's head home. Well, where's Trunks's exit? Oh, we skipped Trunks leaving in the time machine. Hey, Gohan. You can train in the woods south of here if you want. Or go inside the house with me to surprise Chi Chi. Well, uh, well, God, Jesus. I didn't want to go in there yet. Okay, thank you. I want to save before we do anything. I don't want to have to redo all that again. And we will go do some training. Can we go down this well? Or is it just scenery? It's just scenery. Rock! There's still animals in the wilderness that were transformed into evil beings when Garlic Jr. released his black water mist across the world. The sacred water that we used to reverse the effects of the mist didn't reach these poor creatures. Since they're more powerful and vicious than the other animals, I should get a good workout training against them, and protect the good animals at the same time! When Garlic Ginger's jar appears in the corner of the screen, it means that you have entered an area that is infected with this black water mist. Hey, we get filler stuff! If I kill all the animals, does that mean the the mist will go away? Evil wolf! It bit me! You better not have rabies. Ow! How do you get meat out of a rock?
Yeah, this is easy training. Stop it. These things look like the Tasmanian devil. Level five, Gohan. Crap. What was that? Only Vegeta is allowed to pass through here. Ah, oh, another snake. Okay, is this the end of the line? I guess so. Well, we got a little bit of training. What's this? Oh, it's just a tree cut. Ow! Ow! Stop biting me, flea bag! We're going back to the house. A whole plate. Hang on. Did we go this way? Is this the way we came? Actually, I'm not sure. Ow. Oh, that just loops back around. So it wasn't a dead end. Alright, save it again. Home sweet home. Goku! Is that really you? Hi, hon. Sorry I'm late. I guess I shouldn't have taken that left turn at Mars. No problem. You were only gone a year and a half. A year and a half! How could you do this to me? I was worried sick! Chi Chi, I'm sorry. I... Oh, Goku. I can't stay mad at you. I'm just glad that you're home. Or back, whatever. I just want everything to be normal. Well, that's the thing. See? There are these androids that are going to come and destroy civilization in three years, and we have to train so that we're ready for them. <laughs> what?! Goku, you just got back and you're already planning another fight! This time you've gone too far! Chi-Chi, it's not like I intend for these things to happen. <laughs> Fine, you go, but Gohan stays here. I don't want him learning all of your bad habits. But Chi Chi, we need Gohan for this battle. It's important. Gohan has to study. I don't want him to grow up being a muscle bound thug without a brain. I don't want our only son growing up without an education like his father did. Uh, did. Don't worry, Chi Chi. I'll give you another son later. <laughs> Are you trying to tell me that Gohan's studies are more important than saving the Earth? Fine, Goku. Except in the dub, she actually does say, That's right! <laughs> Fine, Goku. Do what you want, but this is the last time. When this is over, Gohan is going to spend the rest of his life studying. Yay, Dad! We'll head to West City next to meet up with Piccolo. You might want to try a bit of training in the woods south of here while I get ready to leave. Okay, so three years have already passed, I guess. Alright, so what level is Gohan at now? Level 5? Let's get him to level 7. I mean, I already did some training. Or at least level 6. We didn't have to be but level 1 to beat Frieza. Alright. Stop it.
Yeah, I think level six is good enough. Whoa. Is that like a random one hit kill? All right, there's level six. I think that's good enough. I mean, we'll fight these guys too on the way back, but. Ow. Save one more time. Oh well. Alrighty. All we gotta do is go up here. Find the flyaway point, which there was one in the woods now that I think about it, but whatever. All right, Kohan, it's time to fly over to West City and meet up with Piccolo. Journal updated. Yeah, the star is where you're supposed to go next in the story. West City. 